Hey there folks. So on this video we're going to talk about color families and um, I touched base on it a little bit in the other videos but now we're just going to focus in. We'll pick one family and then um, I'll give you a little example and hopefully it'll help you guys out. But just remember, so I've got all these colors right on my wheel here, right? This is my color wheel. Okay. Now the way that um, you can break it down is it's either going to be in the red family yellow family or the blue family the blues will be over here okay now what's going to be in the blue family i say well i got green here ultramarine blue and then if the if i had purple on the palette for convenience that would be in that family i, I would consider that a group or a family so then i have the reds here okay i just have different uh different variety of reds and then, uh, and that's, you know, real simple. And then the yellows and then boom, you jump right to white and then it circles back around. Okay. So let's say, um, let's say you're outside painting, right? And you're going to be painting some grass. Okay. The sun is shining, right? It's a nice day. The sun's shining and the grass is green, right? So I'm going to grab green, some Viridian. Now, that's the family that I'm grabbing it from, okay? Now, all the variations that we can use, right? So if the sun's shining on the green, right? I'm gonna have to take yellow, right? Maybe a little orange, right? I'm gonna have to mix that with it, okay? So we mix the yellow with the green, okay? Maybe a hint of orange. Depending on what you're looking at, you can lean it one way or the other. Okay, so that gives me a nice, it kind of looks like a little bit like a, kind of a sap green from here, I don't know. It, um, they're, they're what we call nameless colors, okay? That's why making charts and things is good practice, but you can't really go by that because <clears throat> the variations are unlimited and you have to observe, okay? But, um, but anyways, so that's how I would get it, and boom, that would be my green right for painting outside so just remember keep it short keep it simple whatever you're looking at okay um i just the grass thing for an example you know it could be the sky right then we would say well the sky it's blue you know and then we could grab blue you know we can mix it Let's see how much time do i have here i can maybe do it real quick let me see that blue is getting all dried out all right so I say, well, the sky is blue, right? Now, it could be that saturated, right? But probably not. If I'm not being, doing an impressionist painting, yeah. But what I would probably do is put a little bit of umber in it. And I would gray it down a little bit, right? I would desaturate it. Okay, so boom, I get in the family. And then I lean it one way or the other. There could be a little yellow in there, you know? It all depends on what you're looking at. Maybe the sun is shining a little bit in one area and you see some yellow and you just put some yellow in there, okay? Think of the light shining on the object, okay? So it goes like that for all the colors. It's really very, very simple. Just think about it when you look at an object, what family, what's it gonna start with? You gotta get it in a category. All right, see you guys in the next video. Take care.